Hey guys, it's Madame Mario. We are entering the extra room today on Mario Party 4. We've covered all these other aspects of the game except for the final board in Party Mode, which will be next weekend. But for this weekend, we're going to be covering extra room, so it's just a Mario Party 4 weekend. The best kind of weekend, because it involves Mario Party in some way. Alright, so, um, I've actually never played any of these, um, extras in here. So, that's kind of fun. Introduction. So, uh, want me to tell you about this room? Yes. This here room is for you guys who are tired of the regular Mario. I mean, mini games. We got one player duel and even wacky games for you, dude. These premium mini games are made from the finest ingredients. Best of all, they are free, so play them all you want. Just don't leave a mess. Well, it's kind of hard not to leave a mess in the room this tiny. Okay, so we've got Thwomp's Backroom Ball and Womp's Basement Brouhaha. <laughs> I love the brouhaha in that. Also, um, fun little shout out to Slim Kirby. You can actually access the black star in this room, uh, where you get like the volleyball mini game that is in Mario Party 5, if I am understanding correctly. But you can't always um, access that. It's just like by chance when you come to this room. So anyway, I think we're gonna go with the brouhaha today, just because that sounds really funny. And we're gonna be Wario, typical but true. And let's see, Womp's Basement Brew Haha. -ha. Which mini game will you play? Uh, Jigsaw Jitters, Barrel Baron, Mushroom Medic, Doors of Doom, Bomb Om Xing, or Goomba Stomp? Well, let's just start at the top. Jigsaw Jitters. Alright, so put the scrambled pieces of the puzzle together to form a picture. Alright, Jittery Juvenile. Let's work. Uh, yeah, 20 pieces. We're just gonna do the lowest amount. So that way we can cover more in today's episode than just solving jigsaw puzzles. Aww, Wario looks cute in that picture. So does Yoshi, though. I love how this music is part of this. Oh my god. Oh, what am I doing? I was gonna say, why does that not match anything? This is pretty easy because it's showing me which shapes go where. And because I remember what characters. Or which characters look like what. Oh, that looked weird though. Oh! Jesus. No! Flip the right way! Thank you! Okay. Balloons go... There we go. On Daisy's face, that's where balloons go. Okay, why is this so, such a weird shaped piece? You know how puzzles always have like the same shapes? No matter what puzzle you're doing, it's got the same shape. Like, all the pieces do, I mean. Like, they never have super whacked out shapes like this. At least no puzzle I've completed has had a super whacked out shape. So that's kind of weird. It's been a really long time since I have done a jigsaw puzzle, though. And I mean, like, years and years ago. Um, it was just like... I feel like jigsaw puzzles are one of those things that, like, families do together, and my family never did that. Um, I really think my mom likes puzzles that much, though, so maybe that's why. <laughs> Yay! We got it! Okay, moving on. Maybe. Here's the result. Yeah. It gets me puzzle pioneer. Sweet! I must be pretty legit. Alright, next is Barrel Baron. Let's work it. Find a rumbling spot and press A to dig for oil. 
or rumble off settings, a D, D will appear. Okay. Dig three times to strike oil. I'm a gas station patron. Or gas station patron, if you're rapping. Just make sure not to say that in public. Ooh, I like how it's all weird. Yay! Woo! I only have to dig three times for oil, right? I feel safe walking on this super split ground. Like, look at how split it is. I don't think I am finding anything either. Shoot. Come on. Wait, there was one. Okay, fine. Just kidding, there wasn't one. Ah! It keeps vibrating, but it's not... It's not telling me what to do. Alright, we got some awesome oil skills. What a strange minigame. Not really sure what to say about that. Oh, of all the things in this game to wrap things up with before the final board, this was not what I pictured, but that kind of makes it more awesome. Sweet! Now I'm a gas station owner! Well, good, because if I owned a gas station, I would seriously make gas, like, 50 cents a gallon, and then I would be... Like, my gas station would make the most money because m the most people would come to it. Hello? It would be the cheapest. Duh. And then it would force everybody else to lower their prices because they would lose business. Try to figure out who ate the poison mushroom. The one who ate it will have a different heartbeat. Wow, that's kind of scary. I don't like medical games like this. Dr. Mario, now that's a pimp game, okay? But that doesn't involve actually being a doctor. It just involves being like a an orthodontist. Weird. I think... Yep, you ate it, dude. Did I just say an orthodontist? Oh my god, if I did, that is not what I meant. I meant a pharmacist. <laughs> yes, it involves being a pharmacist. Yeah, it's you. What? Well, what the F, Boo? Boo, you shouldn't have eaten this stupid mushroom. Don't be a complete doof. Well, I guess Shy Guy had the same heartbeat as Boo the first time, so I was instantly confused. So much for that. That was kind of fun, though. I will admit that much. Unlicensed intern- INTERNIST! <laughs> what? That's awesome. <laughs> but yeah, I don't, like- Like, I'm interested in, like, plastic surgery and stuff, but- not legit, like, sickness stuff. Like, Doors of Doom. Okay, anyway. So, yeah. Um, Dr. Mario was fine. Choose the left or right door and go forward. One leads to the next room and the other well. Alright. But, yeah. I actually thought about becoming a plastic surgeon back in the day, but, um, I'm way too squeamish and terrified of medical things. This is stupid. This is like a chance game. Wow, that lasted long. Thanks. Way to hide Bowser on the side you knew I was gonna pick. Doof. Well, that was stupid. Never play that game, because it's dumb. I'm just gonna put that out there. Or out there, as far as he would say. Hapless hero, whatever, I'm legit. I'm the superstar! Haven't you seen my records on this game? Alright. Bomb on Xing. Which is 
probably bomb on crossing, but bomb on Xing sounds more fun. Sweet, I'm a jaywalker! A bunch of bomb moms are walking around trying not to get caught in their explosions. This sounds like fun. This sounds like something I just do on my own time. You know, let's walk around a bunch of bombs. That's a good idea. F is wrong with you, Wario. Uh. Oh, and they're gonna chase you, too. That's fun. There he goes. That's right. Everybody just go to the middle and sit there and explode. Oh, we'll see ya. Oh. This is actually really easy. Ah. Don't follow me, though. Quit following me! You're jaywalking for a reason, not following people. You're trying to get to the other side of the road. Ah! This one's, like, running after me. Look at that action. It's intense. See? That one is, too! Get away from me. Stop! faster they go, though, the more fun it is. I will admit that much. Alright. This is very... Ah! Ah! I wonder if you can play Bomb Mom in Mario Party 9. I know you can play Shy Guy. You probably can play as Bomb Mom, though. He probably hasn't made as big of an impact as Shy Guy has on most people. Then again, he... Well, I guess he's been around as long, he just hasn't been as cute. So... Or he's been around longer, but he hasn't been as cute, so... You know, it all comes down to cuteness, apparently. That's my theory on the subject. Speaking of cuteness, um... I've been really getting into Lucky Star again lately, the anime. It's one of my favorite animes of all time, but, um... It's so adorable, it's so random, but it's hilarious and just really, really cute. And last year, the same time last year, I had said the same thing. I said that I was getting really into Lucky Star, except that that time it was the first time I'd ever watched it. Oh, whatever! But, yeah, I... This is about, like, the seventh time I've watched it. I don't know that it's, like, been a legit episode 1 through 24, but... This is like the seventh time I've watched a lot of episodes in a row, which this time I did watch 1 through 24, but I just know that before I've watched like 1 through 12, and then, you know, at just different times. Lazy walkabout, sweet! Um, but yeah, I think it's just this time of year, because I watched it for the first time at this time last year, it was actually more in like February, but... Yeah, because I did last year, it's like, oh, I really want to watch that now. So I always get really into anime this time of year. Which is good, because it's when all the conventions are. Anyway, this is Goomba Stomp. Get in the robot and stomp on as many Goombas as you can within the time limit. Sounds like fun. I'm, what was my name? Footloose? That's my rank right now. Because we got a Footloose. Footloose. Doesn't something in Footloose take... I don't know what I was trying to say, but doesn't it happen in the woods? Maybe. Kind of. I don't know, but it does remind me of Hot Rod when he does the dance in the woods. Which is my favorite comedy, by the way. Hot Rod is like my second favorite movie of all time. Seriously, I'm not even kidding when I say that. I can't even count how many times I've seen it, and I love all the people in it. I am a big comedy bug, though, so... I feel like I could have done way better on that if I would have started walking sooner. It's a very threatening thing to be in, though. I will say that much. Whew! Alright. Here are the results. So what does that make me? Pitter Patter Pounder. Pretty sweet title, if you ask me. Alright! So, that would be Womp's side of things. Um, 
which concludes this episode. So next time I will be covering Thwomp's side of things, which I think are more intricate, maybe? I don't know. I'll, we'll find out. I'm not going to reveal anything yet. Um, but yeah, I will see you guys next time for Thwomp. Later, pimps.